Okay, there is a safe way to do fractal burning, and that's using high uh, voltage uh, electricity to actually burn like a lightning pattern in the wood. Well, there's a lot of videos of people using like uh, microwave transformers, uh, and that can be very dangerous. So I had um, quite a while ago purchased a lighter. Um, that uses an arc of electricity to light your your cigarette or whatever you're lighting worked very well until the switch died on it so I kept it of course pulled it apart and the other day I realized that might actually work for fractal burning so I added some longer leads to it and I have to replace a switch at some point I'm using uh, a pair of pliers to actually engage a switch. Which what did I do with them? I think my desk off a little bit and I can't find that there. So I'm gonna put these in about an inch or two apart. And then I have a cup of salt water. The salt water is essential to have this work. It won't work just through plain wood. You need some kind of um, conductive thing for this to work. So salt water is very conductive. I'm going kind of an S-shaped. And I'm going to let that soak in a little bit. And then, let's see if I can squeeze the touch button without being in the way. Now I have um, accidentally gotten zapped by this. It doesn't hurt, it just stings a little bit, so it's not like it's something that'll kill you. It's uh, actually only 5 volts, a little less than 5 volts. So. And I had to um, put a cell phone battery on because the battery on it also crapped out. But it was a $10 lighter, so it's not like it was expensive. What I'm trying not to do is short anything out on the board as I squeeze the, the button. There we go. Oops. I turned power on. So I'm feeding 5 volts into the USB port, just like you would to charge it. I actually do need to charge with the battery charge. Give this a second. You do have to do this when you have good ventilation. So I am squeezing that. I'm not getting anything, but I'm wondering if I'm shorting out. Let me try to do this a different direction. Because well, it actually was working. I'm going to move them closer together. Let me rearrange this. pins back in but you can see little dark spots where where the pins were now let me make sure it's working so I'm not going to hold it by the pin I don't want to get it zapped not dangerous but it does ding
and I can't tell if I'm pushing the button. Alright. You say don't. Don't talk to us. So I think. There we go. Let me put that back in. And I will hold it. So it is actually running current through that salt water right now. If I lift it up, you can see the spark. So shortly we should see it starting to draw as, as the salt water dries up some. There we go. Now, what I found is too much salt water and it doesn't really conduct I mean it doesn't burn but you just add a little bit more and you do need to have ventilation for this I just forgot to grab my little fan so I'm trying not to breathe in the, the fumes Slip off the switch, and I do have to put a different switch on this. So as it dries out, it's continually trying to find different paths of least resistance. So I'm going to pause this a second. Or I'm not going to pause it, I'm going to stick this back in. I'm going to move the camera closer. That's probably too close. I'll put on manual focus. There we go. All right. Now we'll see how cool this is. And what's nice about it is it is a low voltage, um, well, not low voltage, low current compared, relatively, compared to uh, what you would do if you got like a microwave transformer. Um, robots in disguise. So I just opened another pathway. There we go. So it's kind of important to use apparently you have to keep this safe. Voltages and, and currents from like a microwave transformer can kill you. And I have one that I've been wanting to use, but to be honest I'm just scared of it. So I would much rather do this and I'm happy that this works because uh, this is just way cool. So, 
again, <clears throat> I can feel my throat getting a little choked up because I did not put my fan here um, to blow away the smoke. I got my face right over it, so I'm trying not to breathe. So it's pretty cool that you can do this. And it's relatively safe. You might get a little burn if you touch it. But I don't think it would be. It's not anything that would kill you. I think the other thing you'd have to worry about is starting a small fire. But uh, even shorten these two out, you're not going to do much more than destroy the circuitry. So what I'm doing is continually making larger paths for it to follow so I can get a bigger design. Now, you use a pencil. That path right there is getting pretty deep. In fact, it's trying to follow the pencil. So I could potentially get a little zap from doing that, but I wonder. If it'll follow that pencil. Conductor. Let me do this. A little water there. I didn't use any particular formula for the salt water. It's just water and a couple of tablespoons of salt. Table salt. So, Oops. just got the camera wet. probably need to let the battery charge a little bit. I don't think the charger on this uh, board is actually powerful enough to do a quick charge on the phone battery, but I'm trying to figure out. I mean, uh, actually going through my finger through the pliers then not hurt. It's just a little tingle. Almost like I'm having spasms in my finger because I have the pliers between the two wires. I really need to get another switch for this. That I don't have to touch it or short out anything on the board. I think I have to wood too wet. Where my pliers are. There we go. So I think my battery needs to charge a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's 
So we can also you see I want to I make sure I don't touch the wire, but you can Hold it off the board a little bit. You can see the plasma, the plasma spark coming down, and it is actually following that pencil line, kind of. No, I guess it isn't. Going in a couple directions. That's cool. I imagine at some point I'll probably burn out the board because it's not meant to run this long. You know, and this, this is not a fast process. This is 16 minutes, so this is a little more than an inch in size. Using a higher, you know, higher voltage amp. Things like a microwave transformer would certainly go quicker, but of course it's also a lot more dangerous. So, that's it for now. Um, I will play around with it some more, and if there's anything else I find interesting, I will certainly let you know.